Senators will take their seats. All persons entitled to the privilege of the floor will please be seated in the gallery. The Senate will come to order. The session will be open with prayer. Prayer will be offered by the chaplain of the Senate. Today's chaplain is the Honorable Megan Martin, Secretary of the Senate. Please rise. and we will be blessed with health and strength to overcome whatever pain we face. Lord, please walk beside us through this day. Clear the heavy air with the lightness of your presence. Guide our hands and steady our hearts that we may give comfort when we cannot give hope, that we may give relief when we do not have a cure, and that we may radiate your healing peace in ourselves and within others. Amen. Amen. Please remain standing and join in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. The chair thanks Secretary Martin for the prayer. The next order of business is communications. Communications from the President Pro Tempore. Communications from the President Pro Tempore. Consistent with the recess motion made on March 25, 2020, the Senate's recall for voting session on Monday, April 6, 2020, at 1 p.m. Communications from the Governor. In conform name of law, I have the honor hereby to nominate for the advice and consent of the Senate. to the Committee on Rules. Further. Further from the Governor. In accordance with the power and authority vested in me as Governor of the Commonwealth, I do to the Committee on Rules. The Chair lays before the Senate Senate bills entitled number and referred as follows, which the Clerk will now read. Friday, April 3rd, Senate Bill 23 referred to Judiciary, Senate Bill 1098 referred to State Government, Senate Bill 1099 referred to Consumer Protection Professional Licensure, Senate Bill 1100 referred to Finance, Senate Bill 1101 referred to Agriculture and Rural Affairs, Senate Bill 1102 referred to Agriculture and Rural Affairs, Senate Bill 1103 referred to Health and Human Services, and Senate Bill 1104 referred to Finance. Chair lays before the Senate resolutions entitled, numbered, and referred as follows, which a clerk will now read. Friday, April 3rd, Senate Resolution 319 referred to Rules and Executive Nominations, Senate Resolution 320 referred to Rules and Executive Nominations, Senate Resolution 321 referred to Rules and Executive Nominations, and Senate Bill 322 referred to Rules and Executive Nominations. The Chair lays before the Senate House bills entitled, numbered, and referred as follows, which the Clerk will read. The Clerk of the House. Sixty-four referred to local government. The next order of business, the leaves of absence, the chair recognizes the majority leader, Senator Corman. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. We have no leaves today. Thank you. Senator Corman requests capital leave for Senator Thomason. Without objection, the leave will be granted. The journal of January 28, 2020 is now in print. The clerk will proceed to read the journal. Senate convened Tuesday, January President, Chair recognizes Thank Senator Corman. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I move we dispense with further reading the journal. The journal be approved. Senator Corman moves that further reading the journal be dispensed with and journal be approved. On the motion, the clerk will call the roll. Argyll. Aye. 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 Arnold. Aye. Aye. Almond. Aye. Aye. Baker. Aye. Aye. Bartolotta. Aye. Aye. Blake. Aye. Aye. Boscola. Boscola. Aye. Aye. Brewster. Aye. Aye. Brooks. Aye. Aye. Brown. Aye. Collette. Aye. 
Aye. Foreman? Aye. DeSanto? Aye. Aye. Farnese? Aye. Aye. Fontana? Aye. Aye. Gordner? Aye. Aye. Haywood? Aye. Aye. Hughes? Aye. Aye. Hutchinson? Aye. Aye. Ivino. Aye. Aye. Carney. Aye. Aye. Killian. Aye. Aye. Langerholtz. Aye. Aye. Laughlin. Aye. Aye. Leach. Aye. Aye. Martin? Aye. Aye. Mastriano? Aye. Aye. Mench? Aye. Aye. Muth? Aye. Phillips Hill? Aye. Aye. Pittman? Aye. Aye. Regan? Aye. Aye. Sabatina? Aye. Aye. Danicero? Aye. Aye. Scavello? Aye. Aye. Swank? Aye. Aye. Stefano? Aye. Aye. Street? Aye. Aye. Partaglione? Aye. Aye. Tomlinson? Aye. Vogel? Aye. Aye. Ward Judy? Aye. Aye. Ward Kim? Aye. Aye. Williams Anthony H? Aye. Aye. Williams Lindsay. Aye. Aye. Y'all. Aye. Aye. You D check. Aye. Aye. Scarnati. Aye. The vote on the motion. Ayes 50, nay 0. The motion is carried and the journal is approved. The next order of business is the consideration of today's calendar. First bill on today's calendar is House Bill 67. One and all the bills on page two, as well as the first three bills down to including House Bill 716 on page three of our calendar, all go over in their order. Senator Corman requests that beginning on page one of today's calendar is House Bill 64 and continuing and through on page three of today's calendar, House Bill 716 go over in their order. Without objection, the bills will go over in their order. Next bill on today's calendar is House Bill 775. Will the Senate agree to the bill? Agreed to. This bill will be considered on three different days in open Senate. is now before the Senate for final passage. The question is, will the Senate finally pass the bill? On the bill. Clerk will call the roll. Argyle? Aye. Aye. Arnold? Aye. Are there Aye. any negative votes? Are there any negative votes? Seeing none, the clerk will proceed with a fast roll call. Warner Martin Street. The vote on final passage, ayes 50 and nay 0. This bill will be returned to the House of Representatives with the information the Senate has passed the same without amendment. The next bill on today's calendar is Senate Bill 798. Senator Corman. 
Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I request that Senate Bill 798 go over in its order. Senator Corman requests that Senate Bill 798 go over in its order. Without objection, the bill will go over in its order. Next bill in today's calendar is House Bill 1045. Senator Corman. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I move that House Bill 1045 be laid upon the table. Senator Corman moves that House Bill 1045 be placed on the table. On the motion, all those in favor say aye. Those opposed nay, the ayes have it, and the motion is carried. Senator Corman. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I move that House Bill 1045 be taken from the table and placed upon the active calendar. Senator Corman moves that House Bill 1045 be removed from the table and placed on the active calendar. On the motion, all those in favor say aye. Those opposed nay, the ayes have it, and the motion is carried. Next bill on today's calendar is House Bill 1210, Senator Corman. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I request that House Bill 1210 on page 3 of our calendar, as well as all the bills on page 4 and page 5 of our calendar, as well as House Bill 584 on page 6 of our calendar, go over in their order. Senator Corman requests that House Bill 1210 on page 3 of today's calendar, through and including House Bill 584 on page 6 of today's calendar, go over in their order. Without objection, the bills will go in their order. Next bill is Senate Bill 766. Senator Corman. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I move that Senate Bill 766 be laid upon the table. Senator Corman moves that Senate Bill 766 be laid upon the table. On the motion, all those in favor say aye. Those opposed nay. The ayes have it. The motion is carried. Senator Corman. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I move that Senate Bill 766 be taken from the table and placed upon the active calendar. Senator Corman moves that Senate Bill 766 be taken off the table and placed on the active calendar. On the motion, all those in favor say aye. Those opposed nay. The ayes have and the motion is carried. Next bill in today's calendar, Senate Bill 784. Senator Corman. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I request that Senate Bill 784 and Senate Bill 809 go over in their order. Senator Corman requests that Senate Bill 784 and Senate Bill 809 go over in their order. Without objection, the bills will go over in their order. Next bill in today's calendar, Senate Bill 954. Senator Corman. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I move that Senate Bill 954 be laid upon the table. Senator Corman moves that Senate Bill 954 be laid upon the table. On the motion, all those in favor say aye. Those opposed nay. The ayes have it. The motion is carried. Senator Corman. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I move that Senate Bill 954 be taken from the table and placed upon the active calendar. Senator Corman moves that Senate Bill 954 be taken off the table and placed on the active calendar. On the motion, all those in favor say aye. Those opposed, no. The ayes have it. The motion is carried. Next bill in today's calendar, Senate Bill 995. Senator Corman. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I request that Senate Bill 995 on page 6 of our calendar, as well as House Bill 1174 on page 7 of our calendar, go over their order. Senator Corman requests that Senate Bill 995 on page 6 of today's calendar and House Bill 1174 on page 7 of today's calendar go over their order. Without objection, the bills will go over their order. For the information of members, when we recess for committee meetings today, all members are asked to please remain in the Zoom room. Do not log off. All microphones will be muted except for those members participating in a committee meeting. For announcements, the uh, chair recognizes Senator Corman. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I request a recess of the Senate for the purpose of a series of off-the-floor committee meetings to be held here on the Senate chamber floor, beginning with the Finance Committee, moving to the State Government Committee, followed by the Appropriations Committee, followed by the Rules Committee. For the purposes of off the floor, Rules Committee, the Senate stands at ease. The Senate will come to order. The chair recognizes Senator Tomlinson has returned from leave. The next order of business is reports of committees. From Senator Brown, the Appropriations Committee, Senate bills reported as committed. Senate Bill 1050, 1055, 1061, 1093, 1051, 1056, 1061, 1052, 1057, 1062, 1053, 1058, 1063, 1054, 1059, and 1064. From Senator Hutchinson, the Finance Committee, House bills reported as committed, House Bill 1083, House Bill 1796. From Senator Corman, the Rules and Executive Nominations Committee, 
Senate bills reported as amended, Senate Bill 841. From Senator DeSanto, the State Government Committee, Senate bills reported as amended, Senate Bill 1027 and Senate Bill 1097. So for the purposes of uh, a photo op, all members who are on the screen, please wave and we'll take a photo of that for uh, our uh, future uh, records here. Thank, thank you all very much. The next order of business is the uh, first reading of bills. Does the chair hear a motion that the Senate proceed to the consideration of all bills reported from committee for the first time at today's session? Senator Mastriano so moves. For the information of the members, the clerk will read the bill numbers. Senate Bill 1027, Senate Bill 1097, Senate Bill 1050, Senate Bill 1051, Senate Bill 1052, Senate Bill 1053, Senate Bill 1054, Senate Bill 1055, Senate Bill 1056, Senate Bill 1057, Senate Bill 1058, Senate Bill 1059, Senate Bill 1060, Senate Bill 1061, Senate Bill 1062, Senate Bill 1063, Senate Bill 1064, and Senate, and Senate Bill 1093, House Bill 1083 and House Bill 1796. Will the Senate agree to the bills? Agreed to. The next order of business, petitions and remonstratives. Uh, Senator uh, Costa. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, please recognize that Senator Tartaglione has submitted uh, remarks on petitions to be submitted into the record. Thank you, sir. Senator Costa requests that Senator Tartaglione's remarks be submitted for the record. As so noted. For recess, the chair recognizes Senator Corman. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I move that the Senate do not recess until Tuesday, April 7, 2020, at 11 a.m., unless sooner recalled by the President pro tempore. It has been moved by Senator Corman that the Senate do recess until Tuesday, April 7, 2020, at 11 a.m., unless sooner called by the President pro tempore. On the at 11 a.m. or called sooner by the President pro tempore.